Hey there sports fans, we're back in race room for some more ranked online sim racing. This time with the Titus F4 at Portimao. So in this one, I noticed in practice session that one of the drivers was being a little bit overly aggressive and I don't know if they're just missing the break points, but they uh, are a bit of a concern, so I'm keeping my eye open for them. Didn't have the greatest start, so I'm probably going to fall back a position or two and have to make that up. You can see the, uh, the green monster livery car got a little bit ahead, but now I've taken my position back, keeping to the outside. We do rub wheels a little bit, but there's no, uh, no harm, no foul. So coming down to the hairpin at the end of the straight here. First time cold tires, cold brakes. You can see them going by the inside. I'm slightly ahead on the outside, keeping them at the very edge, giving them all the room. And I just had a better exit. They got a little bit wobbly. I'm trying to make up for some lost pace in the first half of this first lap now, coming over the hill. Getting close to that orange car, and I'm pretty sure. They're not going to let me take the apex, so I back out of that. I think it's a smart move. So they were driving a little bit aggressively. Didn't want a chance at coming together and have my race ruined on lap one. So continuing on now, I'm just going to try and stay close and take advantage of any mistakes that might happen in front. I'm into the penultimate turn of the circuit. Finishing off, coming over the crest for another long sweeping right hander, coming back to the start finish straight to begin lap two. So P1 is already coming down to the first turn, they're outpacing everybody by a considerable, considerable amount. The rest of us come down to turn one for the second time. I don't know if you saw it, but in the uh, the driver's view, the two cars ahead came together, and during the race, while it was uh, live, I think there was a bit of net code, and it looked like they caught a little bit of air, but in the replay, it didn't look like it was that bad. So what you're seeing there was me reacting, trying to avoid what I thought was going to be a sideways car in front of me. And you see there, the orange car has got it wrong on the exit there, and I see them on the radar, so they give them plenty of space. Pulling ahead, being very aware that they're behind. Trying to hold as much speed through the section as I can. Don't want to give them a chance to uh, make a lunge. tight line through here. I see a lot of drivers, they come in really wide and they, they uh, spin the car coming over the crest. So I try and minimize that risk. And I see them taking a dive there on the radar, so I give them a bit of space and then I cut back on the exit, but that gives them the inside line for the penultimate turn. Almost pulled ahead, but I saw once again on the radar, they were taking a dive, so I gave them a room. It's better than coming together and letting them ruin my race can tell by the way that they're driving that they're gonna make another mistake sooner or later so I'll just let them run at their own pace and I'll capitalize on whatever mistakes they might happen to make. Not close enough to make a move yet here. I'm just gonna hold it steady. And I see they've hit the curb with too much speed and they've turned sideways there. So job done, easy position gain for me. All I had to do was hold it steady and be patient. Try and be consistent and not push the limits of what I know I can do. Still trying to close that gap between the two drivers in front. There's no way any of us are catching P1 that you just saw come over the hill on the side of the screen there in the background. 
way out in front. So the battle in front of me is for P2. And I'm hoping that one of them will make a mistake and I can squeeze onto the podium. Close enough that if I can find some improvement in my, my lap time here, I might be able to start closing the gap. And the more they fight with each other, the slower it's going to get. And they have to take defensive lines. I think these two are a bit smarter and they're working together just like the uh, two drivers I was chasing in Suzuka. And they understand that it's better for both of them to just try and keep a good pace wait until you have proper opportunity to make an overtake. So let's skip ahead now towards the end of the race. Much like the race I had in Suzuka, it was more of the same. Me just trying to maintain that gap. You can see here, one of those drivers made an error through that turn. It wasn't that big. They got a little bit into the dirt, kept it facing the right way, but that was just enough to compromise their lap that I can catch up. Now I have optimal tire condition. They've got dirty tires that are cooling off. So I'm going to stay right behind, try and keep the pressure on. They're naturally a faster paced driver around here than I am, but because of their compromised grip, I'm right behind them. They're taking a really solid defensive maneuver here, trying to break the slipstream. But because they drove that extra distance, they didn't really open up any kind of a gap. I'm still right behind. So all I'm going to do is try and stay close, keep the pressure on, and hopefully they make a mistake. So I'm going to try and go for a wider entry to the top of the hill here so I don't spin out. Maybe be able to close the gap down before the braking zone of the hairpin. But I'm not close enough, so I break a little bit early. And I thought that we were going to come together, so I stay to the outside keeping two wheels just on the track so my lap is still valid. That opened up a little bit of a gap. And they've taken that turn a bit wide, missing the apex where I've got it right. So I've closed that gap down a little bit more. They can see me in their mirrors. They know I'm right behind. The way that we both approach this turn is differently. I closed that gap right down because of the di two different lines that we're taking. Preparing to switch back on them on the exit here. But unfortunately, I've locked up a little bit. So they take the apex and come out, but I've got the inside line on the next turn, which is where you want to be. So all I have to do is get this right. They might have a good draft on me, get a slipstream coming down the straight, but all I have to do is get this right, and I can keep ahead. We've got full traction coming through there where they had a little bit of slip coming over the crest. So they're not going to be close enough to really take advantage of that slipstream. And there we go. On the podium, P3 at Portimao with the Tattooist F4. Another one of my favorite cars and tracks in this sim. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.